So just how much can one of these Mercedes V8 timing chains stretch? You know, I've always wanted to do this test. And when I pull the chain out of my 300 SEL 4.5, it was really sloppy. So I was really curious. Now, a couple things to get an accurate test. You've got to thoroughly clean the chain. You've got to get all the oil out of the links or that's going to give you a false reading. So this is sat overnight and solvent and I've blow dried it and I've done as much as I can to get it thoroughly clean. Then I've got it anchored over here. Let's see how long this chain is, by the way. Bet some of you've never seen a chain this long. 73 inches. <laughs> How's that? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and mark this right here. I'll mark right on the end of the chain. And then we're going to pull on it and see how much stretch is in that chain. Anybody want to guess? I'll bring the camera in close here so you can see I'm not cheating. Okay, I think you can see the mark. I failed to mention earlier that I had to carefully push the chain together all the way, the full length. This took a few times to get this just right, but you've literally got to go section by section and push everything together before I pull it out. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the table steady and I'm going to carefully pull this forward. Let's see what we got. Okay, we're going to mark it. Okay, there you can see it. We've got about three quarters of an inch of stretch. Now you're thinking, how in the world could that happen? Well, let me show you just one link that I pulled out of the chain. This will give you an idea of what happens when these wear. I think a lot of it has to do with infrequent oil changes. It may also be the way the car is driven. But if you neglect the timing chain and let it stretch this far, you've already heard the horror stories of what happens to engines when these timing chains let loose. I want to show you this. I'm going to take about a six inch section of the chain right here and let's see how much movement we have in just this area. Look at that move. A little bit over a sixteenth, almost an eighth of an inch is moving back and forth in just this short section of the chain. 